A present welcome to one and all. Now you study about the topic types of communication video lecturer created by author Adi Shivakumar, MSc MPhil MTech, Assistant Professor of Computer Science and Assistant Professor and Head Department of MCOM CA, INR Janahi Mall College, Sivagasi, mobile 0-9-9-4-0-4-2-2-4-3, email siva msc.it at gmail.com, website www.rdshivakumar.blackspot.in Co-author M. Sita Lakshmi, BCOM CA, student of MCOM CA, INR order Janahi ML College, Sivagasi. Types of Communication Communication has been classified into several types depending upon the social group which it takes place and upon the technical devices used to facilitate it. The types range from four types intrapersonal communication, interpersonal communication, group communication, mass communication. Intrapersonal communication The most basic level of communication is intrapersonal involving the sending the receiving of message within one individual. This is the level on which you communicate with yourself. Intra is a function of the physical self, the emotional self, the intellectual self, habits and private various public situations. In addition, the need for a unified conceptual system and the picture that you have here of yourself. For example, meditation, thinking, prayer, etc. Processing Intra stars when Interstices. The process in motion are called stimuli. It has two types internal and external stimuli. Internal stimuli. The brain is made aware of the state of the body by never impulses called internal stimuli that can promote you to respond by communicating. Example favor. External stimuli. Those stimuli that originate in the environment outside of your body. This comes under two kinds over stimuli received on the conscious level. They are picked up the sensory organs then sent to the brain convert stimuli or external stimuli that are received on the subconscious level. Interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication is direct face to face communication between two persons. It is in other words a dialogue or a conversation without the intervention of another person or a machine like the telephone or a two-way radio or television setup. It is personal, direct and intimate allowing for maximum interaction and exchange in bad and gestures. Indeed, it is the highest, the most perfect form of communication that two persons can attain. Interpersonal communication, it is more persuasive and influential than any other type of communication such as group communication or mass communication for it involves the interplay of words and gestures, the warmth of human closeness and in fact all the five sense. All interpersonal exchange is therefore a communion and a sharing at the most intimate and open level. It is total communication for it takes within its compass words, body movements, physical characteristics, body, odd hours and even classes. Three stage of interpersonal communication. The intel exploratory stage of communication determines the courses a conversation will take. This first stage is known as the photic period, second personal stage and the third one in intimate stage, the patic stage. It begins with a hi or a hello, how are you, good morning or even a vanakam or namaste. They are only a formalized manner of showing interest and attention. In the personal stage, it introduces a more personal element into the conversation. In this stage, we are likely to be willing to talk about personal matters such as one profession, the family health problems and the like. Professional discussion rarely go beyond the personal stage. Most business communication therefore takes place at this level for it does involve personal interests and we are ready to go along the promote them.
the intimate stage. This stage is reserved for friends and relatives. The degree of intimacy depending upon the closeness of the relationship to more we open our heart out completely to others through good friends we are reluctant to tell all interpersonal communication achieves its highest from in this mode and bad seem inadequate a group is any number of people who have a common goal interact with one another to accomplish their goal recognize one another's accidents and see themselves as part of a group three to more people and one leader from a group regarding researchers point of view five to seven people and leader forms a group group communication in group communication particularly where the group is large deception and pretense cannot be detected immediately that must be a reason why acting is associated with group communication the theater religious services dance performances carnivals hum mela ram leela and other flow events or examples of group communication village markets bazaars and malls too are instances of informal group communication then there are gossip groups and other informal traditional groups that come together either regularly or occasionally for sharing information these are micro groups that communicate among and within themselves depending on their status and their relationships there are two groups normally followed primary fcc group main function is to support for its members mainly conversation no object example friends and neighbor talk discussion this is having four characterized face to face interaction leadership one or more leaders experts sharing characteristics common purpose discussion groups can be either private or public in private group only the members can participate no audience for listeners participator in the discussion example executive council or cabinet meeting in public group taken place before an audience mass communication mass communication group communication has now been extended by the tools of mass communication the press the radio television video and the cinema mass communication is generally identified with this modern mass media mass communication is directed towards a relatively large heterogeneous and anonymous audience it is public repaired and transient mass communication is a process in which professional communicators use media to disseminate message widely repeatedly and continuously to arise intended meaning in large and diverse audiences in attempt to influence them in a variety of ways mass communication as a process any process consists of a series of stages or steps by which something is transformed during a set of destinative operations five stage that makes the process of mass communication first a message is formulated by professional communicators the message is sent out in a relatively repeated and continuous way through the use of media the message reaches relatively large and diverse audiences who attend to the media in selective ways individual members of the audience interpret the message in such a way that they experience meanings that are more or less parallel to those intended by the professional communicators a result of experiencing these meanings members of the audience are influenced in some way that in communication has some effect thank you Thank you.